This video will demonstrate how to use the Ctrl M conversion tool for discovery and conversion tasks from Chrome and Windows MS Scheduler to Ctrl M. I'm going to open the conversion tool as administrator. Once the tool is opened, I can see the project view. To open a new project, we need to click on the Create a New button. Once the project window is open, I can choose the project name and project type. In this video, I choose to do that for Chrome conversion, but it's the same for MS conversion. Now I will click Create button. Here I have two options for collecting the data automatically way and manually way. In this video, I will cover the automatically way. In the automatic way, you need to choose the server platform and ensure that you checked four things. One, that the Contour M agent is running on the same environment as the conversion tool. Two, the primary Contour M server, version 6.4 or later, for the agent is running and connected and the agent is available. 3. The primary Ctrl M server allows execution of the CTM pass and CTM create utilities by the agent. The last thing that I need to ensure is that the script that collects the data is copied to the agent. We can find the scripts in the Ctrl M conversion tool home, scripts, data collection, and copy them to the server. The default location in the server is the Control M server home, CTM server. If you want to copy the scripts to a custom location, you can choose here custom location and specify this location on the server. Now I will click the next button. And you will get a pop-up message that tells you the three jobs will be executed. Once you clicked yes button, those jobs will be executed. You can see those jobs in the Control M workload automation. The first job that run is a dummy job that check that the primary Control M server allows execution of the CTM pass and CTM create utilities by the agent. Then runs the second job that check if the script is existing on the Control M server. Lastly, run the job that gets the agent list from the server. In this screen, I can see the agents that connected to the server and choose those that I want to collect the data from them. If you want to choose an agent and the agent row is grayed out, it may be because you need to select the agent platform. Now I will click Next. Then I get a pop-up message which says that one job will be executed. The number of jobs that will be executed is equal to the number of agents that you select to collect the data from them. Once I clicked yes, this job will run on the agent to collect the task definitions. We can see here that this job is running. Now we can see that the data was collected successfully from the agent. Now I can click the import button to import the data to the Control M conversion tool. Then we can see the assessment report window. On the left, we can see the agent names. I can open the agent directory and see the folders and review the tasks inside the folders. Now let's click Next. Here we can change the conversion result name and click Next. Let's click More. Here we can generate some rules for the conversion. Now I will click Next. Here I can see if there are any information or warning messages. Now you can click Next. Let's click Next. Now we can load the converted data from the conversion tool to Control M workload automation. I will insert the username and password and click Next. Let's click Finish 
can switch to control M workload automation. Here we can see the converted data and the conversion discovery folder. This folder contains one job for each task that was converted from cron to control M. If you want to delete those cron tasks, you can order this folder and those control M jobs will disable those tasks. That concludes this control M solution video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this.